this tutorial, we're going to morph from one moving sequence to another moving sequence. We will use Reflex Motion Morph to do this. You should already be familiar with how to use Reflex Warp and Reflex Morph because Reflex Motion Morph is basically the combination of those two plugins. If you're not familiar with those plugins, you should go back and watch some of the previous tutorials before watching this one. You can download the project called TUT0091 Motion Morph 2 Clips, and you can work along with me, or you can try the tutorial on your own after. Let's take a look at each of our shots first. We have the from shot of this dancer, James, jumping, and the to shot is another dancer named Sarah, also jumping. So we will have the James, shot, start the jump, and morph into Sarah, finishing the jump. Now let's take a look at the morph. You see it morphs between the from shot and the to shot, making a nice clean transition. Now let's see how this was done. I went ahead and did a pre-comp of each dancer, keying and garbage masking the background. Make sure that you key both or neither, so that each image is similar in nature with respect to color and alpha, especially when using auto-align which we'll get to later. Then I created a new composition with the pre-comps of each dancer. Reflex Motion Morph considers the layer you apply the plugin to as the from sequence. So I have applied Reflex Motion Morph to this first shot of James jumping. Until you designate which is your two shot, the plugin will render all frames as semi-transparent red images to let you know that two image has not yet been set. We can go to the effects controls and here where it says warp to layer, we'll select B Sarah keyed. Like reflex morph, reflex motion morph has a from and to image at each frame. However, instead of searching the timeline for picture keys, the from image is the frame at the current time that reflex motion morph is applied to and the to image is the frame at the current time of the warp to layer setting. Now take a look at the timeline here. We have the from and two shots on top of each other. And we can adjust the opacity of the from shot so we can see the two shot at about 60% opacity. This is where we can line the shots up. We can move the from shot of James a little back in time to match around frame 350 where Sarah is jumping. Also we can use the position under transform to line them up better. Now we can figure out over which frame range we want the morph to happen. In this case, the warp and blend or morph over this frame range will produce an effect where one person's body and features are transformed into the other person's body and features. We can change the opacity back to 100 now. We need to pre-comp both layers since we repositioned and moved in time because the repositioning happened after the moving morph effect is applied. I figured out that I want to have this transition happen over 47 frames, from frame 328 to frame 347. We can set the global warp percentage from 0% at frame 328 to 100% at frame 347. So it starts with no warping or completely the from image and then becomes 100% the to image. Since the morph is a combination of warping and color blending, we also need to animate the global blend percentage. So 0% at frame 328 and 100% at frame 347. Now we just need to set up the splines. Like Reflex Warp, Reflex Motion Morph warps each frame of a sequence with two sets of geometry, a from set of geometry, and a two set of geometry. You should animate the from set so the geometries match the same features from frame to frame in your from sequence. I'm going to start with the head. We can put the display on Unwarped From and select the pen tool to draw a spline around his head and select the stopwatch to animate the spline. I'm going to duplicate this spline using Command D for Mac and Windows and make this new one the two spline. I'm duplicating it prior to animating it so that we don't have to delete the keyframes that are set up for the from when we get to the two splines. Now back to the from spline. We can go to every frame if there's a lot of movement like this or if there isn't as much movement it doesn't need to be every frame. I can adjust the spline to match the head on the from image for each frame. 
After the spline is matching the from image on every frame, we can change the display to unwarp 2 and animate the spline on the 2 image to match the head of the girl on the 2 image. Now we can go ahead and set up the rest of the splines to match the rest of the features. Because these images are sufficiently similar, we can utilize the auto align feature to clean up the edges better and even match facial features better without adding more splines. You can watch the tutorial on auto align and smart blend to get more detailed information about these features. Now that all the splines are set up, I just want to recap. The splines are in from two pairs. And if you toggle the auto hide show splines, you can see the from two pairs together or on their own. Also, another way to remember is that the from splines are all the odd numbers and the two splines are the even numbers. Now we can change the display to warped and blended and do a RAM preview and see how the motion morph looks. I think that looks pretty good. So this is how you can use reflex motion morph to morph between moving images.